two hour lore video on the lore of Jarlsberg. Dude, I, the, who's that? It's Vadi Vidya, right? Vadi Vidya is the guy that does all the YouTube stuff. Uh, I, I actually really like his videos, even though I'm not super big on the lore of Dark Souls, but I do like his videos. Guy must be eating good. <laughs> he must be, he must be eating good right now. Guy must be making a fuckload of videos. Uh, Korax, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Korax. No roost crisp potatoes for him. <laughs> Jump, got a motherfucker there. I will die. You guys, you, why, why do you tell me to jump? You guys want to watch me jump off cliffs and die all day? That's what you want? Jump! Yes. Do you want to see more of the game? No, we just want to watch you die over and over and jump off pits. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. You can give me, I got nothing for that. No armor, nothing. They have horses now? Yeah. Mounted, mounted douchebag enemies. Is this a church? Bellum Church. Yep. Oh, clearly a yak. Why the horse too? This horrible green-haired wretch on a fucking magic donkey is fighting a big-ass knight. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Like a renaissance festival. Dude, have you been? Have you ever been? Press 1 in the chat if you've been to a renaissance fair. Renaissance fairs are great. They're so much fun. Love renaissance fairs. If you haven't been, you should go. Yeah, they're awesome. They're so good. I haven't been to one in so long. I've told this story before, but I probably got some new people in here today. I'm, I'm sure I made such a delightful imp impression on the people. <laughs> new people in my stream watching me lose my fucking mind in that cave. Aside from that, uh, at a Renaissance festival I used to go to in Gainesville, uh, there used to be these, these guys, you know the SCA? It's a Society for Creative Anachronism. They're the guys that have the big, the full on armor suits and they like, they whack each other with the swords and stuff. Uh, they would go there and they would set up and they would have their full on armor face protected everything. And they would have these like weak, these weak, like 30 pound bows or whatever. And you could shoot these big tipped arrows at them. You shoot arrows at them. If you hit them in the head, you get an extra shot. So you get to shoot a uh, foam air, like these big squishy arrows at them. You did that briefly. It fucking hurts like SCA. So yeah, you would go there and you would shoot the arrows at their head. It's so much fun. It was so much fun. The funny thing is that they would talk shit. They'd be like, my grandmother shoots better than thou. Like, like they would, they would talk shit to you the whole time too. It was so fun. What do you need? I don't want any <laughs> it was so good. Warriors cookbook, composite bow, rune arc, uh, composite bow, rift shield. Okay, I don't really think I want any of this. Well done. Well. Hmm. Be wary of beating to a pulp. Oh, uh, well, I, 
What do we got here? What's down here? Hogtown and fucking Gator Nationals. Dost mother know you wear her drapes. <laughs> Funk. Funk. Bonk. There we go. Suddenly Mountain Blade, is this just open world souls? I think that that's an unfair simplification. It's more than that. Unfair oversimplification. Lyernia of the Lakes. I think Souls of the Wild might be a little bit more accurate. Yeah. Breath of the Wild with actual things to explore and souls combat. The, I think that for me, it's, it's hard to say this. Like, I think that the Dark Souls games are games that are frequently lauded for their combat, right? Like, oh, the combat's so good and you get to choose so much. I got to say that I while I enjoy the combat, I almost feel like the exploration trumps it for me where I just exploring is my favorite thing more than anything else. Like, I love finding new areas and figuring out where places are and where places are going and stuff. Like, out here doing drive-bys. Hey, the horse is pretty effective. It's it's actually a, kind of a detriment against some enemies, but it's quite good. I uh, recommend it. So I, let's just keep going west and north, I guess. We haven't, we've never been here. Less horror and more adventure. Exploring is a well, if exploration is your favorite part of a Souls game, then this is the fucking game for you. <laughs> this is 100% the game for you. Does it feel Tolkien y? Oh, I don't know. Like, not really, honestly. Like, everything I. Tolkien is kind of a weird fantasy benchmark where like everybody since he had such a hand in like creating the genre everything gets compared to Tolkien uh honestly I don't really feel that way um things feel Tolkien-y uh I mean this game needed needed maps if this game didn't have maps you would you would never know where you were fucking going I think where things get Tolkien-y to me is when people add like the the same races and over and over like, oh, you're an elf. Oh, you're a dwarf. And then they have, like, slight variations of it, right? Like, oh, he's an orc, but he's a half-orc, half-elf. Like, that to me... I right, found a map. That to me is where it starts to feel Tolkien-y, and they just add in their slightly different variations. There's really no races in this game. It's just all... There's no races. There's no, like, classes or society. Like, it's not really like that, so... Yeah, oh, I'm an orf. It's like... <laughs> So we just found a new map and yeah. Okay. Maps are good. I like maps. I can't believe how big it is. What blow what's gonna blow your mind is that it's actually bigger than all this too, because there's an underground there's a massive underground area too. So this is the above area, which there's huge parts of the maps we haven't seen. And then there's also a massive underground area as well, which I, I also feel like we've barely scratched the surface of. That's going to really, really tickle your pickle. 
What about the doll head tank people? King's Realm Ruins. Next DLC is the Sky Area. What's the purpose of this game? Rush to Gabnon and kill him. What the fuck? Ah, EG, forgive me. These royal gr grounds were placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. I was looking if there was like a cave in here or something. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Took a lot of elements from Breath of the Wild and it shows. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't think people say when people look at Breath of the Wild, people aren't like, oh, well, this game took a lot from Elder Scrolls Oblivion and Morrowind and Skyrim, right? Like. I don't know. I feel like this game feels a lot like Dark Souls in terms of like the mechanics and bosses and that sort of thing. So I feel like saying that, oh, it took a lot from Breath of the Wild. Okay, these guys are fucking annoying too. How many? Okay, there's a lot of these here. Something incredible ahead. Try attacking. Fucking fuck, man. <laughs> I mean, really, if you play online, you're going to find like every invisible wall, pretty much. You're going to find them all. Oh. Uh, Anxer, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very much. Uh, hey. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What? Oh, pardon me. I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am. Perhaps you like a display. So he sells somber smithing stones. Ah. Uh. Oh, when I'm absorbed in my smithing, if you come too close, I am, after all. Terribly large compared to you, Tarnish. You don't know how hard it is not to break it. Brave Tarnished. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. When the Rhea Lucari Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this <laughs> tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were the Knights of the out. Cuckoo. But their strength had not waned. Like conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. <laughs> I've explained of the enchanted snare. Whatever you do, Brit. 
looks uh does that look very master sword like to you kind of looks it has the same kind of shape looks like Gwyn's sword and looks like the master sword okay mm yeah there's a buster sword Ah. Uh. Ah. Leroy Jenkins. Oh, what's up, Edwardia? How's it going? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, comic Drummer, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. the Adams family. <laughs> God, will somebody give me a hand? God. Lover, finally. Emigs, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Emigs. These things seem tough. They seem really tough. I think perhaps I've gone too far and I should turn back and try to go somewhere else. I think I have gone so far in this direction <laughs> well the, the smaller hands aren't so bad oh these guys gave me some smithing stones yep. look out for the master hand bump <laughs> dude it's smash bros bump -ba -da -bum, bump 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 Ba -da -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, this is bullshit. All right, that was bullshit. <laughs> hey, you flicking me off? Hey, fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> Lady Ronnie, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house swift return. May the full moon shine upon Karia. Okay. No middle finger on ten. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Uh, Emix, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, Advent Seth, thank you for 45 months. Thank you, Advent Seth. Oh, 
Oh, was there something else over this way? Boss back in there? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see anything. Uh, there was an item I missed over here, I think. Ooh, okay. So, oh, was that... So that's a level four... So correct me if I'm wrong. That's a level four smithing stone. I don't even know what I need. I don't even know what I need. Out. Correct. Okay. I don't, I honestly don't even know what I need. All this lurking and I got no gift sub. You can yeah, you can gift yourself a sub. <laughs> or you can simply watch and enjoy. Oh, nobody give me some. Loot, loot, loot. I really do want to try the Wolverine claws. I really, really do. Uh, hi and hello, goodbye. Item ahead, be wary of enemy. Should we call you Weapon X? I'm watching and I'm enjoying, see? What's stopping you from using them? Stopping me from using what? Oh, the Wolverine Claws. Uh, I don't have enough upgrade materials. I could use them, but they'd be plus. They'd be basic. Um, I'm just kind of being driven crazy because I have not found a way to get the basic upgrade material yet. Like, like if, if we're talking about a Dark Souls equivalent, I haven't found Titanite shards. And it's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. I haven't found where to get Titanite shards yet. Oh boy, elevator. Where are the squirrels? Yeah. Another time. Seek grass. <laughs> is that like is that like the Dark Souls equivalent or is that like the Elden Ring equivalent of touch grass? <laughs> Listen, you've been playing you've been playing Elden Ring too much. Go seek grass. Go seek some grass, buddy. <laughs> the flail is good. The flail is good for sure. Oh, I can actually uh, get another charge. I just realized. Hang on. Let's look at my flask. Add flask to charge. Oh, I guess not. I need... Okay, so now to get more flasks, I now need three golden seeds. Okay. Uh, so I still need another golden seed. Summoning pool? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. The blood paints the stairs with each blow. Uh, rut row. Yeah. There's a ladder over here. I did it. Booze, thank you for the six months. Thank you, booze. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Item right. They were right. Uh, I am not cat. Thank you for the 10 months. You wish the flail looked mightier somehow. I'm sure we'll find like, I really want to do the Wolverine claws. Dude, look at this fucking guy. 
I really want to do the Wolverine claws, but uh, I really want to. I need to find the basic upgrade materials first. Ah, uh, great. Oh, great. Oh, you thought it was two guys? Oh, no, it's actually three. Oh, you thought you were going to. You thought you were going to fight th two? No, no, I'm afraid not. It's actually three. Uh oh. Can I get on my horse? No, I, oh, I can't get on my horse, huh? Only you are allowed. That was stupid of me. What the fuck was that? You know, it's like when you're when you're faced with like a wall of projectiles and physical attacks, man. That's rough. Okay. All right. I think we got it. You think he's getting off the horse for phase two? I think this might just be it, actually. I think this might just be it. Really do appreciate the existence of these. One of the nicest upgrades in the game, I think. That's quite nice. Quite nice. That was a big fucking javelin. The bosses feel legendary. The bosses are very, very cool for sure. I think with all FromSoft games, there's going to be bosses that hit or miss. Um...
I'm sorry, could I have gotten a critical hit in there? I wanted to. Ah, uh, Daedalus, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Daedalus. exact same way I just died where there was just too much shit and I should have dodged forward instead of back there was just too much shit damn it man uh low end wolf thank you very much yeah back roll and I'm a fucking machine gun of big arrow and 40 small arrows the back dodge got me again I gotta stop doing that uh low end wolf thank you for the 13 months thank you very much Another boss that never stops attacking, my favorite. So like right there, could I have gotten a, a, a critical hit there? It seems like I, it kind of looks like I can, and it makes the sound, but I feel like I can't. I don't know. What is this attack? Holy shit, there goes my life bar. Okay. Got him. Loretta's Great Bow. So he has like a spell. Uh, Loretta's Slash. Okay. I really gotta equip... I really need to equip a new Ash of War, don't I? Because I've been using the same... I've been using the same weapons art, weapon arts for a while. It's pretty cool, boss. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely liked it. Level up faith. I did, dude. I did level up faith. Uh, so, is there anything else here? Uh, I can't upgrade the spear very far because I, I still lack the, <laughs> the same fucking story. I still don't have, like, the basic upgrade material. Three sisters. I do not have the basic upgrades. I don't know where they are. There's somewhere, somewhere in the beginning areas, there's like a mine shaft or something and I haven't found it and it's kind of, it's kind of driving me fucking nuts. Honestly, 
It's kind of fucking driving me nuts. I, I didn't try to skip anything. I didn't try to. I wasn't trying it, man. You act like I fucking... What? I, I don't... What's the opening? I don't know. <laughs> you think I fucking know? I don't know. What am I missing? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably somewhere there. Yeah, I, you start. Uh, you start here. This is where you start. Somewhere here, cave of knowledge. Around here is where you start. Uh, I don't know if I found it or or what. As there's a bunch of areas here, but I I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Oh, dude, I'm fucking loving this game. This game is super super good. Go for the fat pink mask. I'm, I'm loving this game. I'll bitch and moan. Some bosses I haven't liked as much as others. Like some bosses have legitimately really pissed me off, but uh, I'm having a great time. Hmm. Oh, can I um actually... All right, we can do that and level up. Yeah, the night boss was dope for sure. Can you sail the seas in this game? I don't know. Maybe. What is 8D? 8D is a very small penis with just the tip. So it's like balls and a tip. That is 8D. No shaft. <laughs> Block shut for now. Aww. Aww. Come on, man. I don't think it's DLC. It looks like there's a dragon over there. And there's a tower. I don't know if I want to fight this dragon right now. <laughs> it's probably going to be DLC. Ash of War Chilling Mist. I, I feel like there are so many things about this game that I, I could talk on and on about how it's so smart. Like, giving the player more control over their weapon arts and what they want to do with their weapon and letting the player edit it and all these, all these different things that they've done in the game. It can go on and on about how smart they are. Like they took the things that, like, were lacking from Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Sekiro and you know, and and they they learn from it. They like obviously learn from it. So maybe uh, killing the dragon opens the gates. That seems that seems somewhat logical to me. Kill the dragon, open the gates. Do I like McNuggets? I don't mind uh, McDonald's chicken. I'm fully aware that McDonald's chicken is like a chicken paste. Uh, I'm fully aware of that. So is Wendy's. It's not like Wendy's is any different. Uh, I don't care. That said, I haven't had McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's in a while, actually. Haven't had McDonald's in quite some time. All right, choir, calm down. Take five, choir. You think the choir's like awkwardly looking at each other like, oh. 
<laughs> All disappointed. No new weapon. Oh, we're going up. Uh, I upgraded my faith and got the spear. I might respec and put that into decks and go for the Wolverine claws. We'll see, though. Who the fuck are you? Love ahead. Time for love. Again, we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. Oh, she gave me the horse. What business has that I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No particular reason. No reason in particular, thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my am the witch Rani? I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, serve Rani the witch. I see. Okay. But thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate. Covenant or something? Good. There is in my service. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor. He is the blacksmith. Salavis, preceptor in the sword. Heed not their peculiarities. I am sure the others will. Okay. So back downstairs and dude's going to be waiting for me. Okay. Do I still have the Game of Thrones sword? Yeah, I've got a bunch of different weapons at this point. Uh, here's the Game of Thrones sword. Got crystal sword, which requires uh, intelligence. My character is dumb as fuck. Uh, this is what I want to use. What do you, all right. What do you guys think? A sojourn to go find, instead of just keep going and going and going, a sojourn to go find the upgrade place and try to go look around for that. Oh, so you again, Arcadian royal families. Can you go find it so we can maybe use Wolverine claws and shit? Give you my apologies. I never imagined that an audience, I for one, do forgive me. Let us give all together. Thanks, dude. Let us give together. Fucking do it. Claw boy. How did he fit into this room? All right. So let's, uh, let's travel. I'm assuming that if there is an upgrade tunnel, it's got to be like here somewhere. Or it's got to be like here somewhere. So let's travel here, I guess. Oh, I can't travel right now. Never mind. Well, I don't know about farming. I don't think we can farm. Hmm. I heard about you. Name's Blythe. Sworn sword to Mistress Rack. Glad to have you aboard. Well, I'm situated in Limgrave, right? The eternal city of Nokron. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find... I'm going below. See if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, so a thing below the Mistwood. So these are all her servants. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. I am Selavis, preceptor in the sorceress. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a prophet since we have the misfortune of... I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down. Okay. I reside in... <laughs> uh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I reside in another tower close by. Huh? What was that? Me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rami, if it were up to me, I would. But who am I? All right. Now can I travel? What was that? Uh, it says I can't. All right. Wait, 
Wait. I can't get out? I'm trapped. I swear I'm trapped. I can't attack either. I come and pay me should do you if it were Do I gotta keep talking to somebody? I can't attack or do anything. I'm see if I can't get me waiting. Uh okay, weird. I don't know what to do. Let us get together. Glitchy? Did I like miss somebody or something? I bound my soul to the devil. Well, I mean, wouldn't she want me to go out and do more evil for her or something? If that were the case. Not like live in the tower. Ah, uh, I shall soon, and it will be some time. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I look forward. I shall soon and it will be I have high look Maybe that's it Okay, and I can attack again Just fast travel Well, it wasn't letting me dude. It was saying you can't fast travel. Okay. Now I can I guess I had to talk to her one more time. That's kind of weird. They didn't let me out until I talked to her one more time. I was scared. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I was scared. Okay. So we are going to go like, let's go towards that, I guess. And uh, let's see if we can find, I don't, I don't know. Oh, wow. We, uh, we are a lot stronger than we used to be, aren't we? These guys used to eat my ass. Now I eat their ass. Am I gonna 100% the game for us, please? Uh, I mean, I don't even know what 100% entails. Like, I don't even know what that really means. I don't think anybody knows what it means. We've come full circle. The human centipede of eating ass. Let's see if Barb can find upgrade materials before 100%ing the game. Yeah, that'll be the last thing I discover. Whoa! What the fuck are you? You look like, you look like loot. No loot? Oh my God. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks for the resub. 
Uh, Gatsu, thank you for nine months. Thank you, Gatsu. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, dude. Did I choose? Do you choose a class in this game? Uh, yeah, when you start Elden Ring, you choose of... Uh, I forget how many classes there are. There's a number of classes. And the character you determine, it determines your starting gear, like what your first weapons and items are. And uh, you're also your base stats and like what... if you, A couple of abilities and shit as well, too. Uh, I chose the Wretch, is what I chose. I chose the Wretch. The Wretch starts at level 1. Oh, the wagon. Do I have to, um... Do you think I have to kill the giants to see what's in the wagon? There's no magic in this game? Bullshit, dude. I've seen a fuckload of magic. Don't I have magic, too? Do you think kill, kill the thing or follow it, maybe? I don't see why I can't just open it while they're pulling it. All right, let's see if we can kill him. Good, okay, let's get off the horse. Does the white dot keep moving? All right, kill the giants. We see what's on the wagon. Oh, now it's so yeah. Now we can open it. Okay, what do we got? Great axe. I am disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. Okay. The other one just kind of gave up. I am sad. I think I've got much, much better weapons at this point. Hmm. All right, so for those of you in the know, Hot or cold? Am I hot or am I cold? Well, then ask you a lot of questions. Am I hot or cold? What do you think? No idea. You're so fucking hot. Bra. Hot. Cold, hot. Okay, chat has been very useful. Thank you, chat. <laughs> a rickety shield. Travel Swarth. Is the Deluxe Edition worth it for 20 bucks? I don't know uh, what you get. For, I, I think I bought the Deluxe Edition. I don't even know what I got for it, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I think I got, like, the digital art book or something. You get the soundtrack or whatever. Uh, okay, I don't think I've ever been to this castle. Check that out. Hmm? You get your name in Grand Portal 3. Rich Barb problems. 
don't know if that's rich. I was just like, I just didn't know if I, I was like, am I going to miss something? All right, let me just buy it. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I've been to this castle. You can check this out. How well does this game run on PlayStation 4? That's a really interesting question. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, we just got another flask. Ah, one of these guys, man. These guys are the worst. Okay. Sanctuary stone. More pumpkin than onion. He has a big flail. Well, my flail might be smaller, but the size isn't everything. Uh, part of it is at least the skill in which you use it. That counts for something. No, god damn it. No, god damn it. I had the wrong thing. Jesus Christ! My God! <sighs> Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Okay. Those rodents of unusual size? Yes, they are. This feels like Dark Souls 1. Yeah, there's definitely echoes of Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3. You'll, you, if you've played the games, you'll recognize it. And uh, they pretty much have some straight up, uh, some straight up re, I don't want to say like reused assets, but they kind of are just straight up reused assets. Like almost like pretty much one for one. Bloody slash. Bloody slash. Got some bloody slash. Fortnite? Fortnite. Ah, Fortnite. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. We like Fortnite, Poggies. Isn't there IP? I've got my head in this guy's ass. Fortnite game! Yo, what's up, Meats? How's it going? Dectus Medallion. Do we have the other side of that? The Grand Lift of Roll. The Grand Lift of Dectus. What? <laughs> so. Still no head. If only I had a lover. So if you get these, you can activate some kind of lift. Some kind of elevator somewhere. Possibly to the underground. I don't know. Well, this was not what we were looking for, but we found something. We did find one smithing stone, so I guess there's that. Uh, let's head that way, I guess. The world is massive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, there is fall damage in this game. You can die, but it's got a lot of room. There's a lot of wiggle room in there. There's a lot of room for uh, forgiveness. 
There is a rune that says makes you immune to blah, blah, blah. It is a fucking lie. It is an absolute lie. The one that makes you immune to fall damage. That one is a lie. Don't believe it. Lump of flesh. Okay, I don't think all this stuff matters. Oh, man. I don't know where to go, dude. What am I looking for? Uh, I am kind of looking for an area where I can uh, either reliably farm or buy weapon upgrade materials like the lowest tier like the, the weak weapon upgrades pretty much looking for how do i get titanite shards like how do i get titanite shards and items that can upgrade my weaponry because it's, it's kind of boring to use one weapon for literally the entire game and never experience like never try other stuff so i'm looking around and so far el zilcho Spiked cracked tear. Oh, we got a new tear. That means we can. Uh, that means we can upgrade my my shiz. I think they may come. I think they may come from. Uh, what's it called? What is this? I think it may come from like a cave, like a mining, like a mining cave, something like that. I found a bunch of caves. I don't know if I found the cave. So I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure we found this already. Pretty sure we've been here before. That's going to be the huge, huge underground area. See, I mean, I have no idea if I'm like close or not here. No idea. was this didn't expect erd tree what am i looking for i i just i just explained it i'm looking for a place where i can get upgrade materials for weapons is what i'm looking for like i've gotten upgrade material i've upgraded my weapons but i kind of want to try different weapons i want to fuck around with different stuff and a lot of this stuff isn't going to be viable gonna be straight up not viable for me to use looking for your mother hmm <sighs> do I want a vague tip And celebrated repudiator of the pulse. Oh, Erdtree. Grant me sucker. The fuck is he? Are you afraid of Hello? war? What are you talking is about? Anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Oh, this guy? Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the pulse. All right, what do you got, buddy? Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true... You might have heard of me. Kenneth Height, young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Okay. Hmm? Remarkable. The knight commander dead. Already. Apparently I killed him. <laughs> A fine work, I say. I doubt that it was your intention, but the deed is done and I commend you. Now, go on. 
Erd Steel Dagger. So he gave me a new weapon. Uh, let's see. Looks like it's got high critical hit damage. And it's got like a quick step. Gave me a dagger. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I've done a lot of this indiscriminate murdering. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really like, I'm not like slaughtering everybody. I'm just kind of, you know, that guy, that guy, I, uh, that guy I did kill though. Yeah. Him. I killed. <laughs> You're right on that one. Can't argue with you on that one. <laughs> he started it. You're no Aloy in this game. Yeah. Aloy is way more violent than the guy in this game for sure. Oh. You know, we still haven't found a map for this area. I don't know, dude. Look at this area. You see this? There's like this side area. We never went over there, right? Oh, uh, what's up, Colonel? How's it going? I know, I know. Hang on. Let me go back. Let me go back here. I want to see like what I would need. Let's go here. We're going to travel back here. This game isn't full of people da that down bad for the character like they are for Aloy. Let's go back. I kind of want to see what boss weapon we can get from the moon lady too. Kind of want to see that. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. Let's see. So I don't have any smithing stone three. I need one more smithing stone three. I wanted to upgrade the beast claws is what I wanted to try. I can't actually level up the tree spear to the next level. This is what I wanted, so the hook claws. So I need smithing stone ones. That's what I need for, for this. I wanted to use the hook claws or the bleed and stuff. That's what I wanted to try. I've got somber smithing stones for these weapons too. But uh, yeah, I don't know where they So we need the smithing stones. I don't know where they are. I don't know. Uh, let's go see. Where is this room for the boss weapons? I'm curious. What can we get from the moon lady? I have only fine work, brave tarnish. You have earned the right to now seek the Erd tree to become Elden the Finger. As much from talisman pouch. Become. Can we equip another talisman? Oh, okay, check it out. So we can get the glintstone staff from the regal scepter or we can get the... Oh, dude, you can cast the full moon. It requires 70 intelligence. Oh my God. Oh my God. How are you going to get 70 intelligence? I'm only level 50, dude. <laughs> I'm only level 50. Hit the books. Now go flat. Crazy. Dude, this is so cool. We can wear a third rune. So the the runes in this game are somewhat like rings in Dark Souls, I guess. And all of these we keep getting enhances attacks. Enhances stamina, reducing attacks against blockers. Enhances final hit. Enhances guard counters. Raises holy attack. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. I think this is just for headshots. Well, it's kind of useless. Critical hits restore FP. Raises holy attack, but lowers damage negation. Raises immunity. Raises focus. I guess let's take the immunity. Or we'll take the Prince of Death's pustule, I guess, for the vitality. What's the hairdo helm situation going on? Uh, I've got a couple of different helms. <laughs> uh, all right. Sure, man. Whatever you say, game. Bunger Bunger, Bugged Helmet. 
Talk about bug hat. <laughs> Guys, there's something weird. I think my game is bugged. Did you sleep last night? Uh, I slept for about uh, three, four hours. Motherfucker killed my horse. How this helmet really bugs you. I have a blood coffee content well over 10% and he'll make it. I'm doing okay. Did you get more sleep between sessions between playing this or sessions of Horizon? Definitely more between Horizon. But uh, I also... I've, I've been putting in some long hours past couple weeks for sure. No doubt about it. I've been, I've been streaming a lot. The good news is that it's been fun. The bad news is that my sleep schedule is hurting. Ooh. Have I been in here? Rest up. Yeah, it's been it's been rough. Have I been in here? Limgrave tunnels. I thought this game would look better. Acre, I'm not I'm not like uh oh oh we can get off oh we can get off the elevate elevator there. Acre, I'm I'm genuinely curious. I'm not mad about about like your opinion whatsoever. I, I'm I'm do you really think this game looks bad? I think this game looks great. I think it looks wonderful. I think I especially like the way they minimize the HUD. Um, I don't. I don't think this game like. I can say like okay, maybe this game. Maybe maybe I'd be willing to admit that this game, compared to some other top tier like visually looking games, maybe looks like slightly worse. Right? Maybe it doesn't look quite as good as like horizon maybe it doesn't look quite as good as like god of war or something like maybe the performance suffers here and there right i think this game looks great though i think it looks awesome i could understand thinking like man the other games look really good but I, I couldn't understand if you just thought this game actually looked bad Demon Souls PS5 looks better. What do you guys think? Do you think press one in the chat if you think Demon Souls looks better than this? Demon Souls PS5? Or you think this game looks better? I think I would say keep in mind whatever your opinion. I'm I'm not I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. I feel like Demon Souls has a lot less to render because of how simplistic the game really is in the end. You know, like, there's a lot less going on in Demon Souls, so it's a lot less demanding. You know what I mean? Oh. Demon Souls doesn't look a better, just literally shinier. I'm not sure really how I feel. Fuck. Hidden path ahead, bullshit. It's pretty close. I think they're pretty close, too. Um, I think this game looks gorgeous. I think that a couple of frame drops here or there. Yeah, I, that's definitely happened, but they're going to patch it. They've said, I think this game looks fantastic. I think it looks great. Every single head, every single dead end wall has a message about it. Yeah. Everybody, everybody lies about the, the hidden walls. It looks like there was another place to get off here. Yeah, you know, I, I I did John Cold, you know, I did get this new hat, but I don't know, man. I, I might change it because this hat is really starting to bug me.
Stop it. Stop. You never stop, huh? Get off the stage. <laughs> Man. Lever. Thank you. Yes. Extreme. Yes, that is a lever. I think it looks pretty fine. Man, we're going really far down here. Holy crap, dude. Seriously, fuck you. Seriously, fuck me. Oh, geez, that's not very nice. Somber smithing stone. I think there was another tier of area we could go there. Hang on. You must be joking. <laughs> I did get some regular smithing stones. Yes, I did. This seems like a fairly good place. Now, I wonder, could you, like, reload this area? Whoops. Okay, I think there's nothing else. I wonder, could you, like, reload this area and get more? Or is that it forever? I guess the enemies here drop them pretty, pretty reliably, right? Door ahead. Shut. What do we got? I got the Vega Claw. Stone Digger Troll. Oh boy. We're gonna use the claws on this guy. God, it was like a, a fucking the explosion did the whole area. Medallion. Okay. Did you start with Elden Ring or play Dark Souls to get acquainted? Uh, I think the only real opinion I have here is that uh, this game is significantly harder than Dark Souls and there's a lot uh there's a lot going on in this game that i think if you just started off with this uh you would be it'd be tough okay and i've got a lot of the tier i've got a lot of the tier four stones have you seen how much i have i got a whole lot of those okay so this cave was good this cave was good. Let's go quickly head back here. It is it. What? Well, it's only harder because you picked the level one class. You might be right. I'm. I can't. I don't have really have evidence to the contrary. <laughs> you. You could be right. Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your own. 
All right, so we can strengthen the hook claws, plus four, plus five. So now we need smithing stones tier two to upgrade the claws more. Uh, I don't have any of those, obviously. So we'd have to wait to do those. Uh, okay. Yep. We need the smithing stones tier two. I wonder where you get those. I'm glad we found that cave. I don't know if that's going to be like... I don't know if that's the place to farm it. You know, like go through there, clean out the area. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, we added a charge to our flasks. That's nice. We have no sacred tears. Okie dokie. Now let's see, where do you guys think we should go? Liernia. Look at this big empty area. We didn't find stuff here. Village of the Albanerics is like this. Back to the manor. Which one was the manor? Go look for maps. Uh, let's go there. Do the quest for the witch. Yeah, it was like, what'd she say? Go south of the wood, the mistwood. Lookout tower, minor Erd tree, demi haunted church of pilgrimage. See, the thing is that characters tell me, oh, will you please go here? And I'm like, uh, I don't know where that is. <laughs> So where, where did you want me to go? Uh, Egg Hill Lake, Stranded Graveyard, Church, Groveside Cave, Lindgrave Tunnels, Stormgate Gatefront, Warmaster Shack, Saints Bridge. Ever turn to that dragon head on the West Island? I don't even know how to get to the West Island. Like here? I don't even know how to get there. <laughs> can I, you guys think I can get there? Can I get there? I want to try to get there. Let's try to go there. I want to see if I can figure out how to get there. Go fight that dragon. Yeah, that dragon. That's like, I, I kind of went away from him. I was just, I've just been distracted by so many other things. I didn't want to go get distracted by that dragon. Okay, so we're trying to go southwest. Kind of southwesterly from here. All right, I am Wolverine, bitches. <laughs> uh, Lo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Lo. Okay, so we're kind of we keep turning north. All right, let's go see what this is, I guess. These claws are pretty sick, don't you think? I like them. They're cool. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. They're not even full, uh, they're not even super upgraded yet. Uh, look at how many different arrows we can make, dude. Look at all this stuff we can make. Berserker Barrage. <laughs> Tornado Claw! <laughs> uh, what do these say? Ah! A smoldering butterfly. They are Clawsom. Hey, you. 
Ah, got you. Thank you. Ah, uh, some tea. Tea and water. Thank you. They make you look sharp. <laughs> ah, what is this guy selling? Your new surprised you. No matter, no matter. Why don't you? Oh, but don't ask me. Don't ask me how I got my hands on them. A lantern. Oh, wow. Check it out. A lantern. You can attach it to your waist. S-Dock. That's cool. Kind of want. I kind of want the S-Dock here. All right. Let's buy the lantern. I'm buying the cookbook and I'm buying the S-Dock. I'm buying it all, man. Okay. So how do you use the lantern? Where's the lantern at? The lantern is pretty sick. Yeah, I, I just now got it. Uh, let's see. Ah. Cool. So you can. So now I've got the lantern on my waist at all times. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. You can turn it off. Neat. Oh, let's see the uh, S stock. Let's see. It's like a dex sword. All my swords have been strength. I guess I've also got the falchion, but uh, the S stock seems cool. Let's see. Woo! It's a weapon art. Go, go. Was he selling a tonfa? Uh, he was selling. Uh, what was it? Ungod. Ha ha ha. Uh, it was the astrologer's staff. It was, it was different. Well, it looks like a tonfa. It's not a tonfa, though. Oh, is this a map? Oh, that looks like a map. What's the blue bar? So every... You have, like, special abilities and, like, magic and shit. Uh, depending on what class you go for. And, uh, the blue bar is how much you can do that. So, like, if I, you might, this is my weapon art currently. My weapon art's like a dash forward. Do you see how my blue bar is going down? You can't just do that forever. So, it's like a dash forward. After the dash forward, you can do other moves. So, like, I can do dash forward R1, which is kind of cool. Alright, so we got a new map. That's cool. We didn't have this map before. Neat. Glad we came here, if for nothing else. You're the map. Thank you, baby. Your parents leave or your, your, your mom? Katie's mom has got it going on. Not as clunky. Get maps somewhere to how you find them in Breath of the Wild. No, no. Uh oh. Who the fuck are you? You're dead. Hey, Bar, can we call your character Bugman the Magnificent from now on? Sure, knock yourself out. Will you keep streaming through or come back and uh, come back for the evening stream? Like I've explained before, and I explained this to my wife, that she can, for all intent and purposes, consider me dead. Like I don't, I don't exist anymore. <laughs> Just consider me dead. Here I am in this room, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm basically, effectively, a, a dead, a corpse in here playing Elden Ring. Last Yar ruins. Hmm. 
That's what we call commitment. She's crying in her pool of money. Another pot, okay. I was gone for like three hours now, Wolverine. Uh, yeah, we're trying a different weapon out instead of the flail. Travel to another location. Beam me up, Scotty. Where are you fucking taking me now? Beam me up. Poor Katie. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the gig where, you know, you have time apart and stuff. Liernia of the lake. So I've been here. Yeah, we we did this. This is where we got into the castle, right? No, apparently not. You found a simple map. Check in inventory. Okay. Inventory. Sim what's the simple map? Is that their key items or something? Uh, simple map? Where Where is that? Did I ever kill that Magrid fella? I've killed Magrid and I've killed a ton of other bosses. Yes. Meaning, yeah, I don't know where this map is. Oh, here we go. Simple map showing a meeting place. Uh, Someone I found in a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. Man, it came from surely desired one. The sole meaning of getting entry into the academy, a glintstone key. But I already have a glintstone key, right? I have it. I'm confused. I'm confused. I've killed a ton of bosses, yeah. You gotta say map three times. I'm confused. Oh no, it's the fucking orator mobile over there. Fuck out of here with this thing. You can I drive this thing? Oh, could you imagine if you could drive this thing? <laughs> could you fucking imagine if you could drive that thing? That would be ludicrous. Uh, oh. Uh, Shane Redbeard. Thank you so much for the 17 months. Thank you, Shane Redbeard. Okay, we're finding more and more smithing stones around here, so that's good. More smithing stones. We can upgrade the claws more. I'm liking the claws. I'm liking them. Yeah, they seem good. They also build up bleed really fast because of the dual hits. So, yeah, there's a door. Oh, is this game of the year? I mean, it's so it's still obviously really early. Uh, Horizon, Horizon Forbidden West is incredible, and this is incredible. Look at that bleed, man. 
The big explosion of blood happens. Okay, so somehow I haven't been over there. This weapon causes bleed, like, way, way faster than the flail did. What does this say? Tears. <laughs> was that was that Mitch flower power right there? Was that Mitch? That might have been Mitch. I watched Mitch play Dark Souls 1, and he literally hit every single wall in Dark Souls 1, I swear. <laughs> hmm? You ever beat Fuckhead? Uh, we're way past him, uh, Fist Deck. We're way, way past him. You missed a lot. Precious item ahead. You sure about that? Why is it always ill omen creature? Try fingers. <laughs> every time, every time somebody's bent over, try fingers. Coco Glintstone. Because we're a Glintstone, kid. Academy Gate Town. He does probably know that jingle. Is there a fishing minigame in this? Not to my knowledge, no. Did we already get this? If we did. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I've been through this whole area. Where was I? I was going, I was trying to go here and I, end, I was trying to go there and I ended up way over there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back here. You ever figure out how to kill the Grim Reapers? Have you checked the gate? What gate? Need to get to an island? I don't, dude, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to go south and west because there's this area here I've never been. That's where I'm trying to go and I keep getting this, like completely distracted and derailed. It's like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy and I'm just gone. Oh, hey, this is the guy that wanted the key, right? What happens if I give him the key? Back to learn another. Wonderful. Give the Academy Glintstone key. So you found yourself a Glintstone key, but I certainly can't take it from that key belongs by right. You should it's true, but that's no excuse. Oh. Head to the Academy. Carry on with your jump by the hole. Okay, so this guy is the shitty sorcerer we found. And I tried to give him the key, but he says, nah, man, I can't. Well, how would you fucking recommend I get here? Look at that shit. So unless I can fucking learn to grow wings and goddamn fly, I have to. Okay, so there's a couple possibilities. I either can go in here from underground and go up. Or uh, you can warp there. It's got to be one of those. So there's no way to reach that. It's got to be one of those. Yeah. Use my hat. You know, Gray Mac, I'm so sick of your jokes. Would you buzz off already? All right. Well. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, what do you guys think? This way? That way, you have death roots. Who was the guy that, oh, was this the guy that wanted death, the death roots? Was this the guy that wanted it? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the guy that wanted it. Oh, let's give him this. Hand over death root. Feed me. Bestial sling. Feed me. Bestial. So he's giving me like beast moves, I guess. He's giving me some kind of like beast moves or something. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, all right. I have to get up. I have to pee. I'll be back in just one second, guys. Be right back. I uh, got to use the bathroom. All right. I am back, guys. The claws are neat. Oh, dude. The claws are sick. Claws. I like the claws a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if we're like permanently committed to the claws, but... Um, what do we know? This new Pokemon game looks weird. If P isn't in the balls, why are they wet? I don't know, man. Really, really good questions. All right. Uh, sorry, I'm back. You know what? Let's go uh, while we're here. Let's go south from here. Let's go south from here, right? Nope. Uh Nope. Wow. I thought the wall was coming alive to attack me or something. Did I uh, find this yet? Uh, yes, apparently I did. Still oh, coming at you. I literally thought it was coming alive to attack me. Oh, there's a dragon on the bridge. Okay, well, uh, let's go see how much damage do we do to Mr. Dragon here. This feel, I don't know if this is like a super late game area or something. No idea. Things here seem uh, very tanky. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the things here are, like, ludicrously tanky. Brave Sir Robin. Shit. Maybe the flail would have done more damage to that dragon. Uh, I could have tried that, I guess, but... Did you figure out item crafting? Uh, yes, but I would say that I haven't seen anything that I'm like, oh, man, I gotta craft that. Like, oh, man, I better grab that. That seems crazy good. barely any height and I died from that it was like barely any height and I died okay sure is 
Sorry, Mr. Dragon, coming through. Should have had that ring. Out of the way, Mr. Dragon. Do the beast dances have to be equipped? I, is it like a, I don't know what it is. I literally don't know what the beast stuff is that I keep getting. Find your dad, buddy. Are you gonna kill the dragon later? I will kill all bosses. I just don't want to bash my brains against a boss that I do no damage to, all right? Uh okay. nice hat, thank you. Time for gesturing? A gesture? How do you how, how do you gesture in this game? How do you gesture? Hmm. Dejection. Rallying cry, praise, rest, the ring. Okay, rest now. Do the ring. <laughs> o M C A. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I paid $20 for this emote. So maybe the thing says uh, time for gesture. Maybe there's a gesture that opens these doors up. Who knows though, right? Who knows? No idea. Okay. So we're going back up. Let's continue going west. The beast stances. So I don't know what those are. Like, I literally just have no idea what those are. Is it an item you use? We've got these quick items, the ancestral followers. I don't even know where are they? Is it like a weapon art? A spell. Well, there's bestial vitality and be so these are miracles requires uh 10 to slowly fling slowly fling numerous sharp shards so these are like spells is that what this is poison mist so how do you do you, do you need like uh if you want to cast that you need something to cast it with correct so i don't know i don't know how to cast those things <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to cast it. So, so some of those require faith. Do I have a staff? I think I do. I feel like poison mist could be good. Ah, oh, shit. This area is rough. This area is rough. Oh, I jumped. 
jumped. Bullshit. That was bullshit. Made a beeline for that death. Yeah, you can definitely tell that you're like supposed to be a little stronger than I am, I think. If you're getting completely fucking annihilated, I feel like that's the game telling you something. Oh, wow. So that doesn't work on this guy. That does not work on this guy. So normally you can jump to avoid that, but it doesn't work on this guy because uh, he's got the Scarlet Rot explosion. Daring Pastry, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't remember either. I don't remember shit. Might be time to go somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe we'll go somewhere else. Is it included? Uh, nice to stray demon got some new moves. Might be nice to go somewhere else here. What have we learned? I think we learned that this uh, this Erd tree guy is a big asshole. I also learned that this area of the map is very mean. And there's lots of things here that hurt me big. Big hurties in this area of the map. Again, again. Lots of big, big hurt here. Whoa. What the fuck? Is this a dragon here? Are you friend? Yeah. Yeah, this part of the map is uh very very rough. Very rough. I do not think I'm supposed to be here right now. The threat of fate has been severed. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be over here right now. This is such a huge game compared to like Compared to like Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls 1. It's a massive, massive game. Have we, uh, do we do this one? Do we do this? Enter Evergal. Uh, this might be a uh, boss fight? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Oh, shit. Or did we already fight this? Nope. Oof. Oof. Oh, God. Fuck you. Look at 
that fucking clone. Look at that shit. Is that a gavel? Is he a judge? Get me mallet. Look at that fucking shit, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Man, I like these claws are still so like I haven't leveled them up very much at all. But these claws are so good. The man is hung like the sleeve of a wizard. All right. Get me back in there. No, he didn't seem too bad. Yeah, he didn't seem too bad. He seemed pretty reasonable. Big ass explosion. comes the cast. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> Did he headbutt me? Yeah, he headbutted me. New Battle Mage Hoogways. Hoogoos. Battle Mage Hoogoos. So that's like a new summon ability we just have. Okay. Wolverine looking motherfucker. He had that. Oh, they've all got the weird hesitation timer. They've all got it, dude. Every fucking enemy in this game's got it. We still haven't found the map for this area. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, look at that shit, man. Is this like a destroyed, rotted tree? Check that shit out, man. How do you use summons? Uh, summons are like a, an ability. It's like an item you use in the fight. I think you need certain stats to wield it. I, I haven't done it. Um, I haven't done it. It's Grey Skull Castle. So we're gonna head east and then south. Well, you know, Dark Souls was always cool because you know, like it had a big world, right? And you could like see the world, but it was always like kind of compact. Like, oh, here's a cool undead burg is really cool. Oh, this area is really cool. But it never had these like gigantic vistas and gigantic scale and this like huge sense of grandeur that these do. Like they had their they had their moments for sure, but this game is literally like this game is loaded with those moments. You know, like this game is nonstop those moments. Yeah, Dark Souls has lots of corridors, whereas, like, almost everywhere you go in this game, you're, like, confronted by something like that. You're just like, fucking shit, man. What the hell? Holy crap, Inner Londo looks amazing, and then clo and closed areas. Right, right. So it's a very different. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the world of Dark Souls 1. I love the world. Of I love Dark Souls 3's area. Some really cool stuff, but... Uh, this game was really, really able to take take the basic stuff and really run with it. Really run with it. Can I make my uh, Estuche better? The speed run of this game must be long. Oh, it might be really short if people know exactly how to do the fights. I don't know what, you, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so we now have, uh, we have, uh, nine flasks at plus six. Well, it matches. 
course not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. If you are wise, my flesh Gosh, lady, you know, you are really starting to bug me. Uh... She just told you to buzz off. Ah. <laughs> uh. What was that? Just like a giant boulder out of nowhere? Wow. Wow. Did I test the item that prevents fall damage? Uh, I tested it multiple times. <laughs> it never worked. <laughs> I tested it multiple times. It never worked even once. Uh... I think being on the other side of that, it respawned me on the other side because of the statue. Like, I was just barely in range of the statue there. And it was like, oh, okay, you got there. I think that's what happened. Door ahead. Still don't know what to do with these. Trying to di uh, was dying to death considered a trap? What? Okay. I don't think I can make ghosts bleed. I missed a lot. Why are we Wolverine? <laughs> So, I don't know. Door ahead. Yes, thank you. I don't know what we're doing here. Praise the sorcery. Cool outfit. Thank you. I didn't mind the other armor, but it was just really starting to bug me. Boo, stop.
Uh, well, I don't really know what we're doing. Do we know what's going on? Uh, not particularly. No, not particularly. Visions of Tower. Behold, Crystal. I don't know how to open this door. I don't know how to open it. Time for key. Look at these doors everywhere, guys. See these doors? How do you open these doors? Is all of George R. R. Martin's genius plot apparent now? I do not know how you open those doors. Hmm. Uh, I guess let's head that way. Let's head that way. Have you found the ring yet? Uh, no. No, we haven't found it. We haven't found an olden and we haven't found a ring either. And the lost grace. Let's go grab that too. Have you found Elden? Where's the book, George? Speak friend and enter. Yeah, it's kind of that situation, man. What a buzzkill. I know. Swamp of Aeonia. Uh, this place seems bad. Uh, Pennywise, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, Pennywise. Appreciate it. How's the game out of 10? I mean, it's too early for me to judge. Uh, all I can, all I'll tell you is that I'm having a fantastic time. I'm having a wonderful time playing this. That doesn't mean I haven't been annoyed once or twice. But it's been super, super fun. Played 19 hours since it came out. <laughs> Make of that what you will. You guys have any, uh, you guys do anything for the weekend? You guys got any plans or is you, are you guys, is everybody else also just playing Elden Ring all, all the time? Poisonous Mist. If you guys got anything cool going this, watching this, I guess, watching you. Just playing this. Yeah. I cannot believe one of my moderators said that he, uh, his name is freaking hot. I'm sure a lot of you know him. He said he took off two weeks from work for this game. <laughs> two weeks. Like, I'd be like, wow, two days. That's crazy, huh? Two fucking weeks. That's like, that's like, that's like you had a baby or something, man. <laughs> you had a baby. Uh, Gravity's advantage. He's selling a key. Look at this, this great helm is cool. Champion headband. Oh, somebody tell Laser Belch. Champion bracers, champion pauldron. Uh, okay. All right, what is this? Let's buy this. I'm curious. Uh, is that their key items? This is imparting knowledge in brief. Ah, uh, here it is. Note sold. Gravitational power that poles can bring flying foes low. Oh, that was worthless. <laughs> that was worthless. Oh, hey, we remember this area. This is where the fucking asshole giant birds and dogs were, right? We remember this area. These fucking horrible birds. I remember that shit. I know the T-Rex dogs. Yeah, it was the big fucking the giant birds and the giant dogs. A 
That's pretty sick over there. Looks like World 8. Yeah, we're in Bowser's. This is definitely Bowser's territory. All right, it's these dogs that we despise. Mario golf map and boss is a giant turtle uh, for your sake. I hope that's not true. I don't want to know anything. I don't know anything. I don't want to know anything. Oh, there's a ladder. Multiple ladders. We got. Did I find where to get the things to upgrade weapons? I found one area that seems like it was pretty good. Uh, I looted it all and I upgraded my current weapon, but... Um... All right, here's, a, here's another question for chat. Aside from the thing that I found, have you found something better for upgrade materials than that? Oh, this is fun. A grown up Breath of the Wild. So have you guys found something better than that tunnel that I found? where there was some like basic upgrade materials. There's probably another area that has like a, a higher tier uh, upgrade material, right? Arrow stings talisman. What does that do? Raises the attack power of arrows and bolts. Interesting. So you guys, some of you guys have found, where are you finding sacred tiers? I found zero. My hash feels like a quarter of my health bar now. Ah, not here. Wait, that's like, why is there a ladder here? Look at this. Why the fuck is there a ladder here? <laughs> what a bunch of shit. Ladder goes fucking nowhere. Any mimics? I haven't seen any mimics. The only thing that's happened to me is uh, I've opened chests and I've been teleported somewhere else. That's happened. The siege tower? Is it? I don't see any wheels or anything on it. I mean, it's a fantasy world, but typically siege towers, I think, need to move. I think it's like a watchtower. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I feel like you're supposed to do this with the horse. <laughs> I feel like maybe you were supposed to do this with the horse. I did it like, uh, like, uh, Monty Python and the, the Sir Lancelot running. <laughs> the guy eating his peach. <laughs> Bomb arrows. I have the horse. I just wasn't using it. 
Well, we may have made a poor decision. Can we, uh, there's just nothing I can do here. Can I go somewhere else? Yeah, as, as delightful as it is to fight three tough enemies, I think I'm just going to move on. Let's keep going. That and the rabbit. Whoa! I think I'll be streaming for uh like I told my wife just basically consider me dead for the next couple of days since what the fuck I am extremely disappointed <laughs> Uh, have I seen Life of Brian? Oh, I've seen Life of Brian many times. Many, many times. I love Life of Brian, dude. Well, we got the fucking Gate Guardian over there. The human's not a big deal, but uh, fucking Gate Guardian over there. I didn't, I didn't even see how much damage I was doing to him. It's not worth it. Um, yeah, what class did I go with? Uh, I went with the wretch was my class. I went with the wretch. Romanus and Damus. Oh, good. The last, the last fucking pit we were in was such a delight. The last cave we were in was so was such a happy time. <laughs> it was so much fun. The last one we were in. Oh, hang on. Let's try out the. Hang on. Check it out. Lantern. Boom shakalaka. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Okay, I have a rune for resistances. Raises immunity. Okay, so this will make me more... Look at that. You can see it's going to make me more resistant to the bullshit, right? That's kind of cool. We'll take a look around here. I really feel like I should not be in this area. I feel like... This area is kind of bad news. Bad news bears. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's switch back to my flail. Hook claws plus five. Uh, whoa, I got, the, I, I don't remember I got the pickaxe. Let's go back with the flail plus eight. That's going to be better here for sure. I can't, I can't cause bleed anyway with, uh, what's it called? You can't bleed a skeleton. Are you Vega right now? Yeah, something like that. If 
Try behind and then attacking required ahead. Seek hidden path, therefore turn back required ahead. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm going back right now to uh, get rid of the Scarlet Fever right now, or Scarlet uh, Rot. Scarlet Fever is a real thing, right? This has a later game feel. Yeah, dude, I, I think I can sum up my playthrough. I can sum up this playthrough in a couple of ways. I started off things were going great and then i went off on a fucking wacky tangent off to areas you really shouldn't go for a really long time <laughs> i've been in a fucking shitload of areas i should not have been for a long time and it's been you know it's i wouldn't say it's been a struggle i haven't really struggled that hard I think the thing that stopped me for the longest was uh, Murgit, but I also like I didn't get I didn't stay there. I, I was like, okay, let me go elsewhere. Just felt really dis. It, it would be really stupid to like this whole world, and I'm just gonna beat my brains out on a boss, you know? Oh baby, oh baby. Do it, oh do it. Try ranged battle. Well, uh, this is another one of these caves. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go in this cave, man. Maybe I got to kill this thing? Today on things that aren't going to happen. Me killing this thing. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well, I was hoping there'd be something there. Now I'm going to die. Quick, quick, run! Nah. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what you do in here. There's another, it seems like there's another hidden path somewhere in here. Uh, somewhere hidden, uh, a hidden path in here somewhere. Do 
be wary of rot left I don't know. Are the claws not cutting it? No, the claws are the claws are good. The only reason I switched out of the claws is that I can't bleed anything here right now. So bleed's kind of useless. Can't bleed a skeleton. They're also uh, not very highly upgraded. So weak foe ahead. Behold hidden path. Therefore be wary of down. So we found the hidden path. We found the hidden door here, but it didn't give me anything. So I don't know. I actually don't know where to go in here. There must be something, right? Surely. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we can come back later because I don't know what to do in here. Skellies are out of blood. I mean, let's let's face it. Whatever. What, this is such a late area, or it seems like such a late area that whatever I fight in here is probably going to be really, really annoying. So let's let's face it. <laughs> Back the flail. Uh, only for the time being. Let's see. So where should I don't I don't know, man. If we could go back to the top area. kind of explored a lot of that area. I, I can't believe I still haven't found a map here. I'm gonna go here. Oh, never mind. Still have the helmet. Have you helped the witch? Oh, she told me she has, she wanted me to go somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't remember where it was. It was like south of Mistwood. I don't know where Mistwood is. She told me where to meet her, but she didn't give me directions. So what am I supposed to do about that? Well, in Mistwood, this game needs some quest log. This is Limgrave. I've spoke to you before, right? Uh, turtleneck, nomadic warrior's note, flame chariots, halberd. We could buy a halberd. Sure, buy the halberd. Why not? I'm afraid of. Oh, actually, you know what's funny is we actually have uh, multiple falchions as well, too. We've got a whole bunch of weapons at this point. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rito. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. I've kind of got that open world feel where I have like, I feel like I have open world paralysis where I'm like, I don't know where to go anymore. <laughs> I've got, I've got the open world paralysis, guys. Divine bridge. Ravine, Bellum Church, Revenger's Shack, Laskiar Ruins, Isolated Castle Morn, Bridge of Sacrifice, Impaler's Catacombs. Yeah, see, I don't know where Mistwood is. There's obviously like a whole area here. Maybe I should go back to the, maybe I should go up here again, to like Bellum Church and try to go that way. What do you think? Maybe we should try that. Yeah, this game is uh, very big, very big. This game gives you any direction of what you should be doing. I mean, I think the NPCs just tell you, hey, go to... The game just tells you go to the tree. 
Go to the tree. Try the divine thing again. The divine. What's the divine thing? Rena's rise. Ranny's rise. That was the guy who told us uh, go to this tower. Remember? That was the guy that told me to go there. Let's go to Bellum Church and let's go northeast. Northeast from Bellum Church. Is the game good so far? Oh, this game is so much fun. This game is so much fun. Northeast is where we're going. And let's switch back to my claws. We got another uh, another catapult here, I see. Some of the unreachable areas of the map are DLC. Who knows, man? Maybe. Who knows? Uh, will there be a, D a DLC? I don't think anybody has the answer to that. It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the Erd Tree. An ancient tunnel. I think uh, out of all of the FromSoft games, both Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Bloodborne all had DLC and pretty substantial DLC. I think the one game that didn't would be Sekiro, and Sekiro had no DLC. So. It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the Erd Tree, an ancient tunnel. So this is the Grand Lift of Dectus. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Dectus Medallion left. Fuck, man. <laughs> So, is there nothing I can do here, then? Still no up. Hmm. Well. Seems like there's nothing I can do here. There was a thing that said there's a tunnel that leads into the back way. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I do not know. Secret tunnel, yeah, some kind of backdoor tunnel, some kind of al alternative way in. Something else we can do. Who knows? No idea. Spirit spring ahead. Are you figuring out some of the items yet? We figured out some stuff. Yeah. Why is that a flaming rat? What? 
much. Madness? What the fuck? I don't know what madness is. Have never seen this status effect before. Kind of feels somewhat like frenzy or something. Can I turn this shit off? How of Shabriri? Bloodborne time? That turn off the fucking eye? Holy shit. Well done, and then don't give up. Let there be tranquility. Fuck. Wow, that really sucked. My god, that madness tower? Jesus Christ. Is that gonna respawn, do you think? No way, right? There's no way that respawns. God, that's awful. Of course it will. So are we out in the world looking for the other piece that we're missing? We're missing one piece for the elevator here. Possibly a boss has it. What was the item you got? It was a dance of, what was it? Dance of Shabiri? Is that what it was? Yeah, I like the claws a lot. I wish I had more upgrade materials for them, but alas. Subbing spree. Uh, oh lord, he coming. Thank you very much. Mate, your radiation light the way. Oh lord, he coming. Thank you for the five. God damn it. You must solve the puzzle. What fucking puzzle? What puzzle? The hell do you mean solve the puzzle? What puzzle? Oh, Lord, he coming. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle. Well, we have found these. We have found these doors in multiple spots. We don't know how to open it. We don't know what to do. We tried knocking. <laughs> so. Everything up here kind of locks me out. We're locked out of the elevator. We are locked out of this door.
I am stumped. Have you tried 42? Dude, what are these? These are uh, very suspicious. These statues. I've seen them multiple times. Very suspicious. Very, 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 very sus. Those are some... Those are some sussy... Those are the sussiest statues I've ever seen. Looking pretty sus. Game of the year, by the way. <laughs> Dude, your village should be happy. I got rid of the frenzy. Holy moly. Wasn't that the same glitch in the network test? I didn't play the network test, so I have no idea. Frenzied cookbook. Man, my crafting, if you look at my crafting thing, it's really getting up there with how many things I can make. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Shabiri's Woe. This is a Resident Evil 4 village. Have you crafted something with the pots? N no, I don't think so. I haven't seen anything like I've seen. Like, okay, you can create some like some pine resins and stuff. That's been pretty cool. But uh, I haven't. I just haven't done it. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really... I don't know if I'm missing out on something. Alright, what does this say? Inventory? Maybe I'm missing out on something because of that? I don't know. Waypoint Ruins. Uh, the Lord of the Frenzy Flame. Beneath Landau, the very bottom lies our Lord, Lord of the Frenzy. The three fingers who hold us in thrall. Beneath Landell, at the very bottom lies our Lord, Lord of the Frenzied. Beneath Landall, what is Landall? <laughs> is have we been to Landall? I don't know if I've been there. got a minor erd tree but they've got all these fucking asshole guys all around and they're i think they're gonna jump into the fight
Okay, maybe not. Ow. Ow. Jeez, man. I think in this, in this game, you should, like, never attack more than once. Like, attack once and that's it. Okay, I'm just mad about that straight up. I'm mad. Actually, you know what? Don't even attack once. Not even one attack. All you can really do is never stop rolling. man big owl dude where even am i there was no statue near there oh i think it's just right there uh, that one hurt man that one hurt <laughs> that one hurt doesn't your brain melt after all this playing maybe my brain is melting a little bit Maybe my brain is melting a little bit. God damn it, dude. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Nah, no hate. No hate. Just disappointed on that one. My brain slug, why'd you lose? I didn't want to, man. I didn't want to. Wasn't trying to. It was close. It was close. Does this have a rally system like Bloodborne? Uh, no. Does not. Can I please just heal once when I'm like a million yards away from you? Like, I feel like I'm not asking for like some crazy thing here. 
every fucking like the shittiest little wind attack is like half my life bar everything fucking do it. Okay. The other tree was your whole... Yeah, with the other tree, it was literally my entire life bar. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Magic shrouding cracked tear. Lightning shrouded cracked tear. Holy shrouding cracked tear. So I wonder if something happens when you complete all of the trees, when you finish them all up. Hey, you. Rip and tear. You haven't changed your special drink in a while. I know. I actually should take a look at it. I really should. Uh... Well, I feel like we're kind of progress locked. I feel like we've we've been across a lot of the world. I feel like we're kind of progress locked, right? So we've missed out on something. We're missing something. We need the other half of the dial to activate the elevator. So we've we're progress locked until we there's the puzzle, which who who knows what that that even means? It's a puzzle. There's something to do at the door. That we know, right? Ansel River Well, and that we are sure of. And we found those doors everywhere. We found a lot of those doors. What does this say? Behold, old codger. Time for research. Be wary of ill omen creature. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, I did kill the moose. Yes, the, the deer moose. That I did do. So, yeah, I'm uh, not sure what we're doing now. I'm not sure what we're doing now. Item ahead. He wasn't wrong. Visions of Sniper. Moose has some juice and a big caboose. Did you go to the island? Uh, I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to get a lot of places. In fact, I would say at this point, I have no idea what I'm doing. And that kind of makes me a little giddy because I remember playing Dark Souls 1 and some of the other Souls games and having no idea what I was doing. Makes me a little giddy. Catch the fairy. I'm sure you'll be okay. There's always the crazy laser se later section with the dragons and stuff. Here, this is the thing that took us down into the cave, right? Use your glider to cross the ocean. This thing took me down into the cave, did it not? Uh, 
Yeah, I know you can hit on the left side. It's LB and LT. I am aware. I think that's pretty cool. Do you guys think he's clawing at the wall because there's a secret wall there? Or am I just reading too much into it? Absolutely. Like maybe something went in there and the bear was chasing it and the door closed and he's trying to get back in there. I don't know if that's the case, but it seems like there's nothing there. And I'm dead. <laughs> Did they give me a stone shard key as well? Yeah, like Leo and the Revenant. They gave me a, one of those keys as well. That is very suspicious. That is very, very suspicious. It was a good theory. Well. There's a giant area. All right, let's go here. There's a huge area south southeast of there. I guess let's try or southwest of there. I guess let's try that. I guess let's try that. Uh, no death counter. Everybody's doing it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot. Didn't really feel like worrying about it. I've died a lot. That would require me dying. Yeah, I've never, I haven't, I've barely died this whole playthrough. Fifty-eight times. It'd be cool if the game had like a statistics thing that could like show you. That'd be nice. So the map is also underground. Uh, yes, there is also a huge underground area as well. For all I know, whatever I need to do to get the other piece of the dial uh, might be there. In fact, hang on. Let me. Uh, can I? Can I look at? Let me look at these things. Uh, so where is it? The dial. Left hand of the Erd tree, brandishing the medallion with both halves. The right half set to reside in Fort Faroth in Dragon Barrow, far to the east. So it actually tells you. Brandishing the medallion will have both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Rold. Uh, in other words, a secret medallion. So the other half of this is in Dragon Barrow, far to the east. So if we wanted to get the other half, we'd have to go to Dragon Barrow. Lanes Rise, Crystal Tunnel, Celia, Impassable Great Bridge, Kalid Catacombs, Aeonia Swamp, Kalim Ruins, Dra I don't, well, Dragon Barrow is what it was? Wait, it's probably, dra if I had to guess, Dragon Barrow is somewhere around here, around all those fucking, like, how many dragons there were over there. I'm assuming it's around there somewhere. Assuming it's there somewhere. Seems like a safe bet.
Good thing is you only have to do the routing once. I mean, that's that's the best part because uh, figuring out what to do and where to go and like, where what do I even do here? Something incredible ahead. Didn't expect tunnel. The fuck are they on about? Sounds like bullshit. Sounds like bullshit. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit to me. Uh... Why is it always jumping? Why is it always jumping? There is something suspicious going on here for sure. Definitely something sus over here. I don't know what it is. Something pretty sus. All right, I guess let's travel over here. Let's go try if we, maybe we can find maybe we can find Dragon Barrow somewhere far to the east. Maybe we can find Dragon Barrow, right? Let's see if we can find it. Don't believe all the random notes you see in the video games. I know, but I, it seemed like there was a large cluster of them. And if there's a big cluster, maybe that means something, you know, maybe that's like an indicator. I don't know. Back to the blue sniper archers. Uh, I think my game froze. All right. Uh, so we're looking for dragon barrow. It said it was somewhere far to the east. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Catharsis? How's it going? Oh, I guess we're now offline. I guess now technically we're offline. All right, let's take a look at the map. All right, well, I mean, it couldn't get much more farther east than this, right? Somebody said they wanted to see the uh, the item description again. I can show you guys again. Slap. I mean, couldn't get much more farther east than this. Uh, the damage on the Wolverine Claws kind of screwed me over a little bit. Okay, so here's dragon. Lots of dragons. Did it say dragon barrow? Is that what it said? That was it, right? Key items. Uh, let me read. Dragon Barrow. Okay, so this is it. Somewhere here. Apparently, I never found this one. Okay. Okay, so this says there's some it says that the other side of the lift thing is somewhere here.
Okay, I don't think I want to fight any of these things. I think we just want to go. Uh, Gentile Cretan, thank you so much for the five months. Thank you, Gentile Cretan. I got to turn on my lantern, too. Uh, thank you, Gentile. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Imagine if this was just it right here. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh, here it is. Dude, can you imagine if it was just like here? Oh boy, these uh these humans are fucking eating my ass. Wow, this area is fucking rough, man. These guys do a lot of damage. Uh, I am not doing I am not doing enough damage to these guys. That is worrisome. That is worrisome. You guys, you're about to start your own run. run. You beat your own, you beat all FromSoft games. Any tips? Uh, I don't have any tips, man. Just uh, good luck, have fun, and uh, and be prepared. <laughs> all right, all right. We got both sides of the thing. Let's go check this out, right? What is this gonna do? I gotta see what this is gonna do. I gotta see it. We have both pieces. Pause, champ. Well, guys, <sighs> hoist medallion. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Did you imagine? Come on. <laughs> you asshole. Do it. Well, I kind of want to go exploring. Like, maybe we can find some more upgrade materials, right? Like, I don't know. All right, let's do it. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. This entire huge ass thing is an elevator. That's cool. Where did I find the left piece? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Where did I find the left piece? Cave? Boss fight? Monster? You know what would probably tell me? The right piece. The left, is, the left half is said to reside in the coastal Fort Hate to the far west. So there's the far left and there's the far east. Atlas plateaus. So we made it through and we're in a whole new area now. I'm, I'm really not tempted to fight until I find a, uh, a realm thing, a realm tear. Got to find a bonfire.
Beast blood. Getting awful close to the tree. Oh boy. Getting some real, real Dark Souls 3 vibes up here. you god i just wanted some grace <laughs> that's so much i just wanted a grace oh did they just gave me two golden seeds can i actually get 10 flasks now hey we just got another okay we just got a 10th flask sick yeah we've got 10 flasks now hell yeah all right we got a map this is the map of the capital area now Cool. And this is where we are. Wow. No, this is where we are. Oh, hey, Divine Bridge. That is where we got teleported to that one time. That is where I got teleported to that one time. Remember that? place looks gorgeous uh shout out to the dark souls 3 gargoyles uh blargs thank you for the ten dollars thank you blargs up oh, oh, oh god oh god oh god game chugging Hey, Barb, as a fellow connoisseur of exotic cuisines, what is your preferred nuggy condiment? Uh, I don't often like condiments on nuggies, and it's not that I don't theoretically like it. Like, I think my issue is that honey, mustard, and barbecue, and a lot of these other sauces are very sweet. They're very sweet. So... You. This fucking guy again. We're going to finish him off. It's like the most awkward place to fight this guy.
He's stuck. Okay, I think that was the game. I think the game doesn't want the bosses getting stuck like that, so they, they do that. moment I drink, he's going to throw. Imagine if in Dark Souls 3, every time you dodged, it didn't work. That's what Elden Ring feels like. Dude. I'm dead. He got me. Fucking hall. You get in your fucking hole and you stay there, asshole. <laughs> fucking get buried, bitch. Ooh, greatly raises max stamina. Wow, dude, my stamina is as big as my fucking uh, as big as my health. Damn. If you get back in your fucking hole. <laughs> Well, it's kind of funny running into him here, right? Here he was. There's stamina in this game? Yeah, you can, uh, it's, it does matter. It does matter. It isn't like, you know, okay. This is, I have, I have, look at my health right now. Actually, how many souls do I have? I have 17,000, 18,000. Uh, I probably should spend those. This definitely has some real Aner Londo vibes, as in, like, we went from the decrepit, kind of ruined, chaotic below, and now we're back in, like, a heavenly, sort of maintained, closer to the tree. So, like, this seems like, uh, Summit more kingdomly. Three. In a lot of ways, I feel like Elden Ring's kind of general sense reminds me a lot of Dark Souls, where that kind of makes a logical sense, right? Where... If you're in the middle area, you're with the humans and the kingdoms and the decrepit areas. And like beneath that, you've got the rotted insects, bugs, like monsters. And then above, you've got like the heavenly, kingdomly. It kind of makes sense to some degree to me. Like that kind of logic kind of works out. Uh, all right. So there's a thing here. Uh, Bretman, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you very much, Bretman. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of, uh, all right. I have to level up too. At least I want to level up like Portland. Is it, uh, let's grab some decks and let me go. I'm going to quickly go back to here. I want to quickly go here. I know. I think I need three or four seeds now. I think I need three or four seeds. I need a lot of seeds at this point. 
No problem. Really enjoying the streams. I think one of the things I like the most about this game, too, is that I feel like this game is fucking huge. Hey, we can upgrade the flail. Check it out. Flail plus eight. What about the uh, Wolverine claws? What about those? Okay, so the Wolverine Claws are now plus eight. And so my Wolverine Claws and the Flail are now plus eight. Now they're both plus eight. Okay, let me... I want to try something else. I want to try something else. We're back with the Wolverine Claws. Back already. I want to see something else. Ashes of War. So, Ashes of War... This changes it to a C scaling with strength and dex, and it gives me the storm stomp. This gives this holy damage, so this will cut the physical damage and it gives it holy damage instead. This one does this, so these are the different things that do it. It changes the way the attributes scale a little bit, and it changes the move. See, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. All right. Does holy damage affect the bleed? Isn't C scaling better? Uh, C scaling is better than D scaling. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the recusants. Can you believe they invited me? Can scarcely believe it. You might be surprised to learn at all. Then they only had to ask. It's on Mount Gamia. Last night, That's I fell hide. asleep Just to your stream. This morning, I watched your stream before work. Now, I'm watching your stream back at home. You are a wild man. Uh, Sean Goy, thank you for the uh, $5. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's take a look at my uh, physic here. So my potion restores HP, causes concoction to explode, steadily restores HP, boosts stamina. Holy crap. Boost lightning. Negates damage in fixed mist physic. Oh, dude, let's put this one. This one negates damage. Wow. Half of all total HP and that. Fuck yeah. Sargeras, thank you so much for the 20 gift subs. Sargeras, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Yo, thank you so much. My boy, thanks for the good times over the years. Sargar Sargeras, thank you so much, dude. I really fuck. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks, man. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the streams, and thank you so much. Uh, let's go this way. This way. Who wants to get in close to playing Bug Snacks? Uh, I, when did I say I play Bug Snacks again? I don't remember saying that. I was like, is this thing ever going to hit me? So I've got the damage negation on. I've got a shield around me. Wow. 
Wow, that did like no damage to me. Holy crap. that thank you thank you yeah i'll take that is the damage scaling of weapons exponential do enemies have flat damage negation seems like you do way more damage now so the whole here's how this weapon works the weapon itself doesn't do that great a damage the the wolverine claws that we've got here however what it does do is it builds up bleed so if you build up the bleed it will do a massive spike of damage at the end that only applies to enemies that can bleed. Some enemies do not bleed. Giant Crusher. So, uh, if you can build up the bleed, it will do a ton of damage. But if you're not building up bleed, it's not going to be great. All right, let's see this hammer. Colossal. It says, look at that. Colossal weapon. Requires 60 strength. That's a fucking, nah, that's a big fucking weapon, man. It's a big fucking weapon. So uh, some in it, some weapons, you kind of want to look at weapons and you kind of want to, it's, it's not, it's sometimes it varies how you're going to do a lot of damage. So yeah, you kind of have to like a weapon, like a claymore, a claymore might just be like level up strength. You're good. That might work out for you. Uh, maybe your claymore has like holy damage. Like you can look at your stats here. Like, hang on, let's see. So this this uh, halberd does 125 physical plus 39, whatever. So this golden halberd does it does some uh, physical, but it also does additional holy damage. So this so this weapon you would want to level up strength, but also some faith. It seems like so every weapon's going to be a little bit different. Um, in that regard, you just have to look at it and 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 see what you want to level up. Wolverine claws, a giant hammer, a fancy shield. What's next? The hell with Smo. This game seems massive. Uh, it, it truly is. It truly is. To some degree, it feels like jumping into an ocean. And like I, I to some to some degree, what I'm doing by playing so much is I'm like looking for the bottom. Like, where's the bottom of the ocean here? I, I'm basically James Cameron, intrepid explorer James Cameron, and I haven't found the bottom. We're still going down, dude. We just we seem we seem there seems to be no bottom. That's what it seems. At least there's no bottom yet. There's got to be a bottom eventually, right? Is this a good game for Dark Souls for new Dark Souls players? No, because this game's not Dark Souls, dude. Uh, Golden Order Seal. Is that a thing? What is this? Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh. So what did I just pick up? What was that? He loves when you use the horse. I don't know what I just picked up. Gain power of the dragons at the dragon communion altar. Uh, does anybody know where the thing I just picked up is? Anybody know? What are these seals? Is 
Is this like a thing you use to cast? Hang on. No. Oh. Is it? So, this is like some way to cast faith? Memorize spell. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right so here's all of my spells poison mist bestial vitality bestial sling alleviates buildup and cures poison and scarlet wow hey we have uh we can actually cure our poison check it out and poison mist Shrieks build up madness in nearby foes. We can cause madness. Wow. So it looks like uh, this is how we can cast some magic. All right, here's poison mist. Can't poison me. And here's the bestial vitality. And that will cure that. Well, damn. Cool. You can clear that lady's uh, scarlet rot. Uh, I don't know if that will work on her, but maybe. So this other thing we 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 got. Uh, hang on. So let's look at this equipment. This other one we have is it requires seventeen intelligence. We use this other one. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we'll keep it, right? Why not? It's another, it looks like we have another heal now. Oh, no. She has the lore version, not the game version. Figure out what was the dancing blade in the swamp where that dude was talking about. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I've just, I've played so much for so long that, uh, like I've, I've, it's just like, it's kind of sensory overload. Like I can barely remember stuff that I did. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? But there's so much stuff. It's hard to remember all of the stuff. What day is it? Saturday or, or m Monday? What day is today? I don't know. Is that Sunday? Yesterday. Elden Day, From Day. I feel like I actually prefer saying From Software instead of From Software. I don't know why that is. Something about From makes it sound more like a name, whereas From Software sounds like weird. Second way that you can basically uh, immediate because you'll have forgotten everything is too much to remember. Yeah, I mean there were multiple playthroughs of, of Dark Soul, the, the original Dark Souls games, where I had no idea. All right, hang on. Poison mist. Gift sub. Poison mist, go. Hey, well, we poisoned him. Check it out. <laughs> Look at the damage. Um, how does one open a door like this exactly? Jam and T, thank you for the gift sub. P Punitor, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Hmm? 
Are those civilians? Are we Sifu again? <laughs> well, I guess let's keep going this way where we killed uh, Margit, right? Keep going over here. Find bench guy. <laughs> Look at these things dangling from the sky as well. I ran past those two uh, horse dudes at the start. Those two, like, kind of bosses, I guess. Just ran right by him. I should probably go kill those guys, too. Hmm? Uh, what's up, that guy? How are you? Another golden rune. The two sentinels? Yeah, the, they were uh, the tree sentinels. What's up, Mixin? How's it going? Well, these guys got pyromancy and shit now. Okay. Uh, this game is Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Souls. I, I never played Metal Gear Solid 5, so I, I couldn't really tell you. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Do I have a Bulbasaur living on my head? You know, I you really, Mr. Sweep, you're really starting to bug me, dude. You're really, why don't, why don't you just buzz off, man? All right. Woo. Are there lifesteal in these games? Usually lifesteal weapons. Uh, not like typically, like I, I guess have there been any lifesteal weapons? Sometimes. There's like the life hunt scythe is a weapon, I think. There have there have been weapons that would steal life. There that has been a thing. Uh I think they're pretty rare. They're pretty rare. Life steal rings. Yeah, there's a ring uh, where every enemy you kill increases your... Uh, in you get a little bit of health back for every enemy you kill. That's a thing it's called the Ring of the Evil Eye. I don't know if that, there's anything equivalent in this game. I mean, for the most part, your healing in this game is seldom relevant. Because... Uh, was, is there like an icy area over there? Check that out. Like crystals. Way in the north over there. That's cool. We got some windmills over there. Uh, for the most part, there's so many of these realm things that uh, you can stop a lot. You can just run away from a lot of fights. So. Uh, what just hit me? Oh, these guys hit me. They're dropping some pretty good, uh, uh, some pretty good smithing materials. Dynasty Warriors style armor. 